I think more than one case is concerning. Another confirmed case of meningitis at an Oregon college campus, and tonight that student is in the hospital. What you need to know about this disease. At 11, good evening. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. The diagnosis marks the second student to become infected at Oregon State University in less than a week. Campus officials are reaching out to those who may have been in contact with them, and our Cole Miller is talking with a doctor in this health alert. Cole? Well, Jennifer, Jeff, the good news is both of these students are in good condition, that according to the university. However, if untreated, this is a disease that can lead to severe disabilities and in some cases, death. A campus of more than 30,000 students taking notice tonight as health officials confirm a second case of meningitis at Oregon State University, a bacterial disease you've likely heard of before. So meningitis uh, means inflammation of the tissue around the brain and the spinal cord. Dr. Don Nolt studies and treats infectious diseases at OHSU's Dornbecker Children's Hospital. We get a lot of interest of meningitis in colleges and universities because people spend a lot of time closely together. And that's how it spreads. If someone were to come in direct contact with a person who's infected, usually through some type of bodily fluid. Officials at Oregon State now treating 160 others with antibiotics who may have been around those two infected students. You should seek medical attention if you experience a stiff neck, if you experience headache, vomiting, or otherwise feel ill. Dr. Nolt says it's critical that treatment be given as soon as possible. Sometimes if it spreads more in the body and you and or you haven't gotten antibiotics quickly, you could have some devastating results. Oregon State releasing this statement earlier today, reading in part, quote, We understand that news of these students being diagnosed with meningococcal disease is very concerning for the families of these students, as well as our general student body and their families and OSU faculty and staff. We know the general public is also concerned. The safety and health of the OSU community is our top priority. And Dr. Nolt tells me that vaccination is also key. Those heading off to college are usually vaccinated for the four main strains. However, tonight I'm told by the university that one of those infected students has a strain where a vaccine was just recently developed. The university now working to see if these cases are connected. Back to you. Yeah, and we'll continue to follow this closely. Mm -hmm. Cole, thanks.